So once I shuffle that in the right spot, then I'll just put these. In the video, we did say we got the car for free. Welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds today. So we have some more stuff that we have to finish up on this board today. So today we're gonna do the Freon, check the transmission, um, change the spark plugs, just all the little maintenance, and, and just um, vacuum out the line to make sure hey, we put new, um, put new Freon in. So we have a lot of that stuff to do today. This is probably gonna be the final video where I'm probably gonna give you a price breakdown of this car in this video. So not to worry. But like, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Hey, check it out on Twitter, check us out on Instagram. Hey, check it out on all social media links. And don't forget to cop yourself some merch on WeWeBuilds.com. Now, let's hop into this video. So we just pulled off the cover. The cover is over there. So now the cover, so now we already put this line on. So now we're just basically gonna vacuum out the line. So we're gonna just vacuum out all of um, the air out of this. And then we're just gonna put it. So this car used 24 ounces. So we have, I have some Freon with the dye in it. That's the one that I bought. So, and we have the, the same issue that I was say, talking about, of this, about this line with this sensor, that um, each time you put gas in it, it has a problem. So I'm also going to remove that too and put the new one on. So let's keep working. And another thing that we have to do, the windshield wipers, they don't wanna work. So I guess the motor is seized up in them. So we're just gonna take it off the parts car. So let's keep moving. So we got the removing everything. We're about to put the Freon in a minute, but before I start the Freon over here, I'm gonna try to change these, the, the motors for the wiper blades and then check that. And then after that, we just hop on the spark plug. So instead of just pulling these three bolts out, I just decided to just take the whole bracket out with it and then just flip it and then just take this wire out and then basically we have the whole motor then we could just switch it in the other car Now we have both of the motors, so we're gonna take both of them off and then install them in there. While we're doing that, we're just gonna start removing the spark plug. Now we need them. So now I have to remove that sensor. So that sensor runs all the way to the back. I just removed it off this. This is a vacuum sensor. So every time when you refuel, you put fuel in it, it doesn't want to start or it, or it idles hard. So we're going to keep going until we touch the one on the bottom. So now we finally got it out. So now we just loosen the bottom. The bottom one, that was the hardest, but you have one piece right here. This hose that connects to this piece right here and this one was connected to this so now we should be able to take it out now and then just pull it all the way out and then switch it with the one that we had on the other car let's keep going so that's the old one on the floor so now we're putting in a new one i just kind of shuffle it instead of moving this out of the way i just kind of shuffle it under it so it's basically done so let's keep moving
so we end up changing the spark plugs and I'm getting some spark plugs from AutoZone last minute and we end up getting the purge valve but this is a different one where it's in the middle and you can connect it so we're gonna go to the gas station in the next few minutes we just put some transmission oil into the transmission so I'm about to check it right now so now we're at the gas station so we just got gas we just changed the purge valve so let's see if it, if it works so the car started up with no issues so we're good fix that issue after a few weeks so now we're back again at it again so i'm just gonna keep continuing doing some last minute maintenance that we have on this car so now we're doing brake rotors the brake pads to change it change those stuff out of this car and just do some engine oil changes so um so since i've finished putting engine and transmission in the car i drove it across the country i drove it from North Carolina to Arizona, so no issues the whole time. So that should be good. Hey, so what we got this car for was for free because one of my friends, he didn't want the car anymore. So as you can see in, in the previous episodes or on the first episode of this Ford Escape, that we got the car for free and then we end up having a 2.0 motor which we end up getting rid of that motor because we would have to do some conversions and stuff in order to get it back in this car or in, in order to get it back with the rest of the stuff so so that's done y'all you know, know that hey the car was for free so let's keep working and i'll give you all more price review on what's going on let's go so we just removed the wheel so now we're just going to remove this pin. So this pin is out. Once you remove that pin, we're just going to take this little piece out. Basically, let's use it to loosen the top one. We've got a bottom one right here. And then once that's done, we're going to remove this bolt right here. And there's another one below. So let's keep going. So as you can see, that I took the caliper off and then I just hooked it right here. So that you can just hold it for there for now. So now I'm gonna try to get the rotor off. So all I'm just gonna do is just use this rubber mallet. After you finish using the hammer to knock it off, then just off. then you want to just clean off the surface. And now I just have the steel brush, so that's what I'm gonna use to be cleaning off the surface. Kinda already cleaned off this where the where the brake um the brake pads go into these these slots right here. So now I put this hose and then I, I loosen up this right now. So I'm gonna loosen it. Uh, so now that I loosen it a little bit, I'm gonna have this tool. Tool that you could put in the caliper. Got to end it all on the weekend. Sorry that I feel that way sometimes. 
and then what kind of messed me up earlier was like use the left side on the left side and the right side on the right side i didn't see this earlier and i kind of messed it messed it up but just a friendly reminder So then once you tighten it and all you do is just turn it and then you can see the feel the fluid So once you get it back in, you just want to push, close this uh, as fast as possible, and then, and now, now you just gonna put it, put it, put back the brake caliper on the brake. So let's keep moving. So even though I'm not really finished, as each wheel that I'm done with, I just go straight inside, and then I just pick, press the brake pedals a few times. I mean, it's longer, but it helps not um then the master cylinder get damaged so it's a quick way so while we're doing this the next thing i'll say for the parts car we end up winning the bid for 3500 so taxes and fees out the door we end up paying 4300 for the parts car so now we're on the front so just pull out this spring. So what I'm gonna do though is connect the, the brake bleeder to here and then loosen it. Once I loosen it, all I'm gonna do is just push a screwdriver, like take out the first brake pad and take a screwdriver and then just pry it back. And then once I get it to where I need to, I just close it real quick and then keep going. So let's keep moving. So the rotors are on, new brake um, pads are on. So all I gotta do is just put back the spring in an easy way to do it is to just basically start from the holes. Just push it in, one hole right here. And then push the other one in, the other hole down here. So then basically just once you get it in the hole just basically push it down and clip it in so i had well i had to do it with two hands but once that's in just make sure the spring or this piece of metal is all the way down and just know that hey you're good everything so now all i need to do is pump the brakes again and then put the put the wheels on and then make sure everything is good so let's keep moving that's gonna be a wrap for this video yeah so i mean this is the last episode of this 2013 food escape hey we've done a lot of videos i probably want to say it's one of the quickest videos that we've ever done or maybe the second quickest but hey we still have a lot more deals coming so just break down the numbers in the start of the video we did say hey we got the car for free uh then we won the other parts car for about thirty five hundred dollars then with taxes and fees out there coming out of the the car we ended up paying about forty three hundred dollars uh plus if you include like um you include the new haul that we've got and hey, we have a crazy backstory about what happened with the park star. It ended up coming off the the dolly. So, hey, but it was okay that we didn't hit anybody, so that was a plus. 
but yeah, and we even include the fees that we pay for gas and all of that to round it up to make sure to see where we're at. So in total with all of that, plus the gas and the trailer to get a trailer from U-Haul, I would just run it up about say 4,500 that we spent so far. And then on parts, we end up spending about $500 on parts. But parts is just not really as much because I mean, the things that we did, we did a full blown maintenance on this. At one point, the thing that I had to, to um, put the, the Freon in the car was not working. So I guess what I had was bad. So I ended up stopping at a shop out, uh, at a shop and just have them take care of that for me. It only cost me like a hundred bucks for it. So it wasn't too bad. So Ford was caught, um, charging me about $300. So anyways, I mean, apart from that, with, yeah, so with parts, spark plugs, we end up having to change a purge valve. That code for the purge valve saying anytime that we, we get, once you get gas, it wouldn't want to start. So yeah, so that's out of, out of, that's also, we had to buy those parts off AutoZone because we didn't, I didn't have time to order it off Rock Auto because Rock Auto gave up most of these parts and they were way cheaper on Rock Auto because for one bottle of engine oil was three bucks. But when I went to AutoZone, it was like, 12 bucks on one bottle so i mean it's better to shop shopping at rock auto but it also you still have to think about shipping so it kind of works out or it don't work out but we did get um the purge valve done the coils the spark plugs put new um some freon in it we ended up topping it off with transmission fluid and did an oil change and all of that plus you just saw us saw us that we just got done with the brakes so we changed the rotors and rotors and the brake pads so i mean that's pretty much it for this build i drove it across the country i drove it from north carolina to arizona so and i had no issues the whole time with it so i mean it's it's running great i uh, love it it's just one of those quick builds i would say this build was kind of worth it because because the motor was bad in this um to get in order to get a new motor it was 2500 so it did work out i mean buying the parts car and then with the parts car we um we just end up taking the transmission changing out the full interior so i mean it's worth it and we still we sold a lot of parts off the parts car so we made about 1500 dollars off so that basically offset some of our expenses because if everything that we calculated up would be like five thousand dollars and then if i mean fifteen hundred dollars from whatever whatever we sold from the parts car we basically got this car for thirty five hundred plus i still have more parts on the parts car so there's people still asking for more stuff so i mean selling everything off the parts car will probably make me more money also and then it's basically it's like i got the car for free and then but then if, when i added labor it would have been it would be more but it's a great build. I'm happy that this one has come to an end. We need to get back on the S5. That's that's gonna be our next prime goal right now. So, but the videos are gonna come out, come out a little bit slower for the S5. But don't worry, I got you all. Just know that hey, we're um videos are coming. So just stay with me. Don't go nowhere. Videos are coming. And for the BMW. There, I need to change the valve cover because I realized there's like a crack in top of the valve cover. Never done that before, so I mean, I'm about to try it. I don't really know much, but I mean, hey, if I need any help, I got my dad. He's a mechanic, so hey, we still got a lot of stuff in the pipeline and a lot, a lot of new builds that I want to bring to the channel. But hey, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments and thoughts down below. Hey, don't forget, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all social media links is down below. Hey, and don't forget, check out Dowdy's Towing. He will help you out. He hauls, tow, everything. Just give him a call. His, his link will be down in the description also. But, and if you need to cop yourself some merch, stop at wewebuilds.com, okay? I'm always, I always have the merch. But hey, until next time, stay positive, stay motivated.